there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to discuss something kind of personal with you and that is the progress that I've made in my way of thinking and in my lifestyle choices since I had my stroke. And as those of you who follow my channel, you may remember that on August 15th, about four months ago, just under four months ago, I had a stroke. It was about 5.30 in the morning. I was in the basement doing my weight routine and all of a sudden my left side went numb. My face went numb on the left side. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't look very good at that point, although that was the last thing I cared about at that moment. I ran up the stairs and said, oh, and I'm having a stroke. Call 911, call 911. And Alan had the foresight as we were waiting for the ambulance to say, Beth, get your cell phone and record yourself having this stroke because maybe you'll be able to help other women. And I did that and I'm going to play the little segment that I made that morning of the stroke. The audio isn't good, I don't know why, but here I am the morning of the stroke. Okay, <laughs> see I'm smiling halfway. I just had a stroke, <laughs> probably a mild stroke like a TIA, but I just had a stroke down in the basement. I was doing my arm weights on a bench, on an incline bench, and I was pushing my arm up in the air. I had just 15 pounds, which is not heavy. And unfortunately, my left arm started going numb, and then I thought immediately, maybe I was having a stroke. My left leg went numb. And I was very fortunate because I immediately realized I was having a stroke, got to the hospital and again had that clot busting drug and within two to three hours of having had that drug my face was back to normal my left side wasn't numb anymore I was one of the lucky ones who realized I was having a stroke right away and in fact just three days later on that Saturday I made my first video about the stroke and the be fast and if you haven't watched that I hope you will because in that video I do a little education to all of my viewers out there to help them identify if they or a loved one is having a stroke in order to get them to the hospital right away so hopefully they can also have that life-saving clot buster drug. Well, the doctors were amazed in the hospital that I had had a stroke because they said, Beth, you have none of the risk factors. You're slender, you're not overweight, you don't have diabetes, you don't have known heart disease, you work out, you eat well, at least they thought I ate well, Although in terms of my diet, for the past five years, I had been on a very high fat diet. Leading up to the stroke, for four years, I was on the keto diet of which I was very high meat and butter and cheese and that kind of thing. And then in the last year leading up to the stroke, I had gone to the very high saturated fat carnivore diet. And quite honestly, I had gotten to the carnivore by listening to social media influencers who seemed to talk a good game. They seemed to have studies that supported the carnivore diet. But since my stroke, I have done more research and I have found that those studies are quite lacking in terms of the carnivore diet. There are no long-term studies at all on the carnivore diet. And some of those social media influencers are actually trying to raise money for a documentary in support of the carnivore diet. But I would say, hey, slow down. Instead of saving money toward that documentary, save money toward a long-term study that will show the effects, the true effects in one's body of the carnivore diet. Because as someone like me can attest, what we eat is super important to our health. And I do believe now that high saturated fat actually does lead to heart disease. And I believe that is what I have. Obviously I had a stroke, which is one of the elements of heart disease, you know, strokes, heart attacks, diabetes, that kind of thing. They're all kind of linked together. Maybe not diabetes, but all of those are lifestyle issues that can really be impacted by one's diet. And I will say that now, instead of all that meat and butter and cheese on the carnivore diet, I have now gone to a whole foods plant-based eating plan. However, I still need to get to a lower fat version of this plan, which I will do this coming Friday. And I will explain that to you in just a few moments. But I will tell you that like many of you out there, I originally loved the carnivore diet. And about two weeks after I had that stroke, I had done some research and I found this one cardiologist who supported the carnivore diet. And I made that video two weeks after the stroke stating that I plan to remain on the carnivore diet. That was before I started to do more research on strokes in general. And in fact, the American Stroke Association gave me a horrifying statistic they have found that one in four people that have a stroke are likely to have a second, usually more serious stroke the second time. And after what I went through, it was very important to me to do the research and to get on a program of health support that would keep me from ever having a stroke again, that would keep me heart healthy. And I will say that in that first video, 
I offered to reach out to Dr. Ken Berry because I wanted to get his take on this. I wanted to hear from other carnivore influencers. And with the exception of one influencer, Bella, the steak and butter gal, she did reach out to me and we did do a short video about my decision to remain carnivore. But none of the other influencers that are in the carnivore sphere reached out to me. And I know they knew about my video because how can you miss it? It had 100,000 views. And here I was in the thumbnail, you know, having had a stroke on carnivore. And I did try to get Dr. Kim Berry, but I emailed him several times and I was never able to get a response from him. And I would still like to have his response quite honestly. And first, let me tell you that I had a life-threatening experience. So that made me jump in and do a lot more research than I would have had I just been going along on the carnivore diet. I was largely believing the things I was hearing and you know they were kind of surface, but I knew a lot of people reported good results and I felt good on it, so everything was fine. But I am not saying that anyone out there should not do the carnivore if they want to do it. Every one of us is different and we all have our own goals and we all have our own beliefs. And so please don't crucify me in the comments section if you're pro carnivore because I'm not telling you you need to go plant-based. However, for me, after doing my research, I am totally convinced that saturated fat does cause heart disease, that high cholesterol leads to heart disease and heart attacks and strokes. And for me, it is very important now to get my cholesterol down into a healthy range and to eat a truly heart health supportive diet, to exercise and that kind of thing. And if you'd like to see some future videos about the various things I am doing to lead to greater heart health and avoid that second stroke, then please let me know because I would love to share that information with you. Now, as I mentioned, for the past couple of months, I've been on a whole foods plant-based diet. However, it is not as low fat as they would like it to be because I have still been eating things like peanut butter, things like hummus with oil, a little bit of olive oil, that sort of thing. But starting this Friday, I am going to be taking a Zoom course along with Alan from Dr. Caldwell B. Estelston, who is an absolute pioneer in the area of plant-based nutrition and actually reversing heart disease. He did a study where he took 24 totally at-risk heart patients and he restored them to total health and actually reversed some of their heart disease issues in a very short order of time. And in fact, in this course, Dr. Esselstyn has already called me and Alan, which is wonderful because it was like hearing from God. I've seen him in many documentaries about reversing heart disease. He called us to get our medical history and I told him I'd had the stroke and I gave him my cholesterol numbers and also my blood pressure. And starting this Friday, we will be going on the very strict version of his heart disease reversal diet, which is plant-based but very low oil as well. And within about another month, I will again take my cholesterol numbers and my blood pressure. And if you'd like to see a video about my progress, I would love to share that with you. And if you're on the carnivore diet, thinking about investigating it, or thinking about going on a plant-based eating plan, the best documentary I think you can watch is one called Forks Over Knives. It is an incredible documentary that contains very convincing evidence that a high meat-based saturated fat laden diet really does increase heart disease, cancer, and all sorts of lifestyle related issues. And in fact, in that video, Dr. Esselstyn mentions the United States and discusses our meat consumption versus the health effects on some other countries that don't have such a high meat diet. Dr. Esselstyn also discovered that in the early 1970s, the risk for heart disease in rural China was 12 times lower than it was in the US. And in the highlands of Papua New Guinea, heart disease was rarely encountered. The link he noted between all the areas he studied was simple. Virtually the Western diet was non-existent. They had no animal products. They had no dairy, no meat. And the most convincing evidence to me that a high meat diet causes heart disease, causes cancer, causes strokes, that sort of thing, is some information from history that happened during World War II. In World War II, the Germans occupied Norway. Among the first things they did was confiscate all the livestock and farm animals to provide supplies for their own troops. So the Norwegians were forced to eat mainly plant-based foods. Now we look at the deaths in Norway, just antecedent to this period, from heart attack and stroke. 1927, 1930, 35, look at right up here, right at the very top, 1939, bingo! In come the Germans. 
immediately, 1940, wow, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Have we ever seen a population have their cardiovascular disease plummet like this from statins, from bypass surgery, or from stents? No. But look what immediately happened. With the cessation of hostilities in 1945, back comes the meat, back comes the dairy, back comes the strokes and heart attacks. I mean, it's such an absolute powerful lesson. But uh, we didn't get it. And that was Dr. Esselstyn's first warning that a meat-laden diet really does cause serious health repercussions. And Dr. Esselstyn is one of four or five other eminent researchers that are in this field that truly believe and have convincing research that shows that a whole foods plant-based diet, a low fat version of that, can actually not just halt the progression of heart disease, but can actually reverse heart disease. And in fact, Dean Ornish, who is one of those elite researchers, actually has a program to reverse heart disease through diet and lifestyle, basically a whole foods, low fat, plant-based diet. And his results reversing heart disease with his program are so convincing and so scientifically validated that now Medicare actually reimburses for the Dean Ornish Heart Disease Reversal Program, in addition to the Pritikin program that does about the same thing. Well, if you'd like to see a video after I attend Dr. Esselstyn's program this Friday, I would love to share that with you and I'll share specific details about what his program entails. But as I mentioned, for the past two months, Alan and I have both basically been on a whole foods plant-based eating plan let me show you some of the things we've been eating. For instance, here is a look at our traditional lunch, a soup and salad, all with vegetable elements. Here's a close-up look at the salad, and I actually made a raspberry vinaigrette dressing with real raspberries, which was very good. And last night, Alan actually made me a wonderful gluten-free vegetable pizza, and here is a look at that, and it was so good. Even without cheese, pepperoni, or meat, it was a wonderful pizza. Well, that was just a brief look at my switch from carnivore to a whole foods plant-based diet. And changing my diet is just one of the things I have been doing to give myself a more heart healthy lifestyle now and in the future. And if you'd like to see more information about the complete program I am undertaking, I hope you'll just leave a comment in the comment section. And if you also have heart healthy things you do in your own life, I hope you will again leave a comment in the comment section about what you're doing because that way we can help each other. Take care and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.